guys how's it going today today's monday today is our daily video day and we're going to talk a little bit about blood parrots a little bit about the behaviors and a little bit about all the fun stuff that they like to do in their tank they're very entertaining fish to watch so we're going to start it off now with a little video of dozer dave all right so here you have dozer dave up there in the top left he is a very energetic fish he's also the dominant fish in the tank so he's the one that uh chases everybody around every once in a while and just lets him know he's still the boss of the tank but you can see here this is the reason why you can't have real plants in a tank with these guys this is what he does for fun uh up there tearing at those plants tearing at every plant they move every plant around the tank it's really hard to keep a plant in the same spot just because they don't like it there they're gonna move it um He's Dozer Dave too, uh, just like Todd that you're going to see in a few moments here. He really likes to dig in the sand. His cave is perfectly cleaned out right to the glass bottom of the tank. And uh, you can see these fish here, they just love to play. You can see them up there swimming in the current. They do that quite often. This is something that they like to do. They like to, they like to swim really fast and play. Uh, so if you have a, a power head in your tank or even in little internal filter like we do um, that's pretty much only there for them because they like the current so we give them that current and they really enjoy it but uh, the only plants we've actually ever been able to keep in here are floating plants so real plants might not be the best option if you want to have a blood parrot tank but as you can see they really like tearing at them <laughs> All right, guys, so this is part of my behavior of the blood parrot videos. Um, so as you can see, Todd's tank is very clean. He likes, uh, what I mean by clean is he's got no sand in his areas. So I just want to show you, without getting attacked, how crazy he is with his sand. you can see here I'm putting sand in his cave you're like what am I doing what am I doing so this guy here is really uh, temperamental and a little bit scared but uh, it's my Todd fish. We really love this guy. He's my favorite fish. He's the one that got us into cichlids. I just want to show you how fast he's going to start digging in the sand. He he does not like that at all. He's looking at it right now and he's be like, no, no. See, it only took a moment here and he's already wants that sand gone, right? So yeah, that just really goes to show the drive for digging sand that uh, our Todd has. This is my Yeti. He is a cross, pink convict cross, blood parrot. This guy here, he is super attached to me. And when he sees me, uh, he will sit down in the corner when I get up and he will just stare at me until I come over and see him. Hey, my buddy. I got my green terrors here too, but uh, this is my Yeti. This is one of my favorite fish that I have. One of them. They're all pretty awesome. My toes are Dave. Uh, but this guy here, he's he's pretty special. He's a little bit deformed and stuff like that, uh, but I still love him. I seen him and I said, no one's probably going to take this fish except for me. And I tend to do that. I tend to grab the uh, ugly deformed fish. I figure that I could probably give him a better home than what other people will. So I don't want him sitting in the pet stores for forever. So if I see a fish that's been in there for a really long time, I try to take him. You'll see. This is my friend. So anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed my video. 
I hope you understand the uh, the blood parrots a little bit more now, how they like to attack and dig in the sand and how they have really cool personalities. Um, if you haven't already done so, guys, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done that either. And uh, we have more videos coming all the time, so keep tuned.